This edition of the Random Rambles with Rob podcast has been brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped, offering you precision engineered tools for your family jewels. The Manscaped engineering team has spent over 18 months perfecting their greatest ball hair trimmer ever. Ever. They obsess over their technology and developments to provide you with the best tools for your grooming experience. Try the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to the advanced skin safe technology pioneered by Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com and get 20% off your order plus free shipping when you use promo code RANDOM. You are now listening to Random Ramblings. What up, everybody? This is your boy, B-Rob, and I'm back with another edition of the Random Rams with Rob podcast. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you, the listener, for coming back each and every week or however you listen to podcasts. If you're a first-time listener, I'd like to thank you all so much for giving my show a try. And if anybody recommended you to me, if you're in their vicinity, at a safe distance, go ahead and reach over and give them a crisp high five. Sanitize before and after, of course, because, you know, we're still going through the shit. but If you are still health conscious and you want to maintain your social distancing, pick up your favorite social media app of choice and send them a well-crafted DM telling them thank you for recommending you to me. Speaking of social media, you can find the Random Rambles with Rob on various social media platforms to include Twitter at 3R Show, Instagram at the 3R Show, Twitch 3R Show, YouTube 3R Show. And for anything that I may have forgotten to mention, you can find it all on randomrob.com. Now, got all the business out the way. Joining me, I have two guests. Uh, I am going to do somewhat of an introduction, but it's kind of off-putting because their damn name is on the screen. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you, you can see it, but the way I come across these two individuals is, I've said it on the show before, that I had... um I don't know. I had sour thoughts about people who streamed video games and content like that for a while because I didn't understand it. I was like, why am I going to watch somebody play video games or whatever the case may be? Because I can just play the games myself. You know, why am I watch you when I could be playing, you know, but, you know, having people that are streaming, you know, on a regular basis and everything, I had them ask guests on the show to help me further understand this thing that we call twitch or facebook gaming or youtube and all this other stuff just to kind of pick their brain a little bit to further educate myself and i find out now that i rather enjoy it and i find people which are two well yeah this is left all right i don't know it's it's opposite world over here these two individuals here joining me i ain't gonna say the name because it's right there on the screen there you go but they're here and um, I'm glad that I can have you on here. I've enjoyed your streams, both of you, from The Sims to freaking Horizon Zero Dawn. Goddamn, because people got clapped on that game. Arrows out of the sky and just... <laughs> um, What else have you played? Uh, freaking Resident Evil. Yeah. Goddamn. I think that was one of the first games I watched y'all play. Yeah. And and it, it, tickled me, it tickled me to no end because it's just like, yeah, we're playing games. We're playing games. Oh, scary shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like hilarious to see you react and everything. And that's what I'm kind of finding is not so much I'm watching people playing games. I'm watching their experiences and how they react to certain things, you know, other than myself. Because yeah. one game, if I could recommend you one, if you haven't played it yet, um, I think you would like to play as a tandem is um, Until Dawn. Until Dawn. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like a team... It's like a team survival horror game or whatnot. The horror. <laughs> yes. The horror. Oh, the horror. <laughs> and I just, I think it would be a, 
fun for you guys to play as a tandem. But speaking of which, this is a question for my own curiosity or whatnot, because it's always um, kind of, it can be detrimental to assume things. Mm -hmm, yeah. What is your relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Very engaged. Yeah. Very well. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, because I mean, who knows? I mean, the world is different you here. Know, in 2021. Yeah, exactly. Could be cousins, could be sister and brother. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I mean, even though you you have like this, your different um, personalities as far as streams go or whatnot. I mean, I haven't really seen from what I've watched that like that would have, lead to any inclination of that. So I thought, you know, okay. you might be just okay. close friends or chums or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, it's not like, oh, we baby, I love you, and <laughs> stuff like that. You know what I mean? You're, you're more professional than that. Yeah. Other... <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then you can only see one side of the camera or whatever. You're probably in the background like, ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're playing Sims or whatnot. But, I mean, you've been streaming here for how long, the both of you? Uh, not long. Yeah, you started before me. Six months? Yeah, about six months, yeah. and then on my channel, I started here. Was it the end of October? Yeah, so not long. Huh. Yeah, I mean, and so what led up to that? Uh, YouTube, yeah, yeah, YouTube first. Been doing YouTube for about three years, no, four years, yeah, four years, yeah, and then I think it was the lockdown, the lockdown, <laughs> and then yeah, and, and that's what kind of drove me over here for, for yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think that. We started thinking like what can we actually do i guess we're at home now we have to find something was, that we can do i guess it was fun as well you get to meet people like yourself yeah yeah that's it you've met a lot yeah. of people on here yeah, yeah for I me per how this started you wouldn't believe it would be exactly <laughs> like this <laughs> So I, I um I know you do some game reviews and kind of playthroughs and whatnot on your YouTube channel or whatever. And I haven't gone back and like dug in the archives or whatever, but what you've been doing that for about three years. So what sparked that? As in what to start? What to start it? Yeah. It's a hobby. It's a hobby, really. Yeah. It's expressing like what I like to do. Yeah, yeah you gotta get that creative like, energy out of there and everything. Yeah, I like editing. I enjoy it. Yeah, well, you better than me because I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> the editing is. I know because, like, um, because I do the podcast and I think that is my least favorite part of the process or whatever. The talking and hanging out or whatever, that's the fun part. That's that's the cool shit. But now when it, the recorder is off and it says it's done, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had an editor. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, golly, I got to put these bumpers in. I got to put the music on top. And do I have some ads? Yeah, I got to throw the ads in there. And yeah, it's just, it's I just want to do things. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Stuff. Well. Yeah, exactly. Phil used to edit. So I was on YouTube first. Phil used yeah, to edit my that. videos because oh, I, I didn't know how to edit. That's so I used to film. He used to set start, me start, up. Start, start yeah, go on, go on. It was Chrissy who got me to me. <laughs> he started there. That's what so, he so is that how the relationship kind of started or no nah, we started before the, that yeah started before that yeah but the youtube twitch thing yeah, okay i started stuff. it and phil i wanted to do it but i don't know how to do i guess all the behind the scenes the filming what camera lens and i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know none of that so yeah. phil used to set up the camera for me i would that record and then he would edit it so that's how we used to do it. But I wasn't really, con I was consistent at one point, but I wasn't consistent all the way. Mm -hmm. And then I think, I think I fell off, stopped doing it for a while. And then, um, yeah. or was we doing it at the same time at one point? Yeah, yeah, definitely when you the same actually time. started, yeah. yeah but it. I always tried to, I guess, be more consistent with it. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, other than your, your Twitch empire, that's what I'm going to call it. And uh, your YouTube content or whatever. What is the story of us? Because I'm very intrigued now. I mean, how did this become a thing? How do you become, you know, two people in this little rectangular box? Um, we start? Yeah. We, um, start. we met years ago. Like, yeah. no, it was probably like 13, 14 years ago, I guess. Yeah. Woo! But we were, I guess we were just friends before. Yeah, we were friends first, yeah. Yeah, so um, 
yeah, then I guess we decided to go out and then here we are two years later. Who 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 asked who? Who pulled the trigger? Who was like <laughs> who pulled the trigger? Who was like, I want to go on a date and we need to talk about some stuff because I feel some type of way. I think it was mutual because we went on dates before we were actually mm. together. So we were I would say we were close friends. Yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how Phil. deep you want to dig. It's you. <laughs> it's you. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, yeah, Phil asked me out. Yeah. Word. Why? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of story you want. Oh. <laughs> what do you? What kind of story? Oh no! I mean, I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, because I mean, it's it's the story of you. Is like whatever you want to divulge. I mean, I'm not digging for anything specific. Oh, no, exactly. Yeah. I and mean, this is not the National Enquirer or nothing like that. I'm not trying to say your secrets to a government agency or nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. shit, that's that's a long that's a long time to know each other and to be together this long. Because yeah. um, me and my wife just made, I think, twelve years in total. As in, been together or been married? Yeah. Married, yeah. Married twelve years, nice. Yeah, yeah. married, married twelve, and been together thirteen. So, wow. so it was a whole year, and then I was just like, I ha- I liked it, so I put a ring on it. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Had to lock that down. Well, actually, she locked me. Actually, she locked me down, and I didn't fight it. I was just like, all right, this is cool. I guess this is yeah. what we're gonna do then. <laughs> I mean, I'm here over every day anyway. I might as well just kind of like hang out, <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> and I think the yeah. biggest fun of it, you got like you gotta understand each other as well. Once mm-hmm. you understand each other, that's, mm-hmm. that's the key. One of yeah. Them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that that it it's it is different levels for different people. I know for us, it it took a while because yeah, it's not I feel I feel like it was a uh, it was kind of rushed because I I met her and it was everything was going good and I was in the military so it was just like yeah. I meet her and she's great and she's awesome and I was like um in a couple months I'm gonna be deploying to Iraq oh, so. so it's- yeah, so it was just like I already knew I was going before I even met her, and then I met her, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be leaving here in a couple months, so I'm just like, you know, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. I mean, this can be what it be. How long was you gone for? Uh, seven months, wow. and that's obviously early on in the relationship, yeah. yeah so, I mean, it was growing pains because I mean, we can really, I guess, study each other for you know, lack of a better term, because yeah. I mean, I wasn't there. You know, and then earlier on, you know, I was a little knucklehead too, so I got in a little bit of trouble beforehand, and I couldn't be there in person to resolve said issues. So, I mean, that was kind of way, way that was real rough in the beginning for us. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, whenever I got back home, we was able to bounce back, but it was still kind of fresh because I was there. We was all lovey dovey, and it was great. And then I had to leave, and then we had to come back and reconcile again, and essentially almost start over and oh, then yeah. you know so it, it was just real it was a crazy situation <laughs> but look at you guys now, now yeah. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah i mean it's been great well not, i can't say ben it is great it you is, know yeah 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 right who don't have the rough patches yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, have you ever experienced that yet yeah you go for it everyone yeah. goes for it I think everyone that's what, thinks I feel that's what helps you grow. Yeah. You can't grow without it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Other than um, obviously the game collection I can see behind you and everything and what I'm exposed to uh, from the both of you as far as um your games that you like to play and whatnot. What other hobbies do you have? I mean, because this is a hobby that you turn it into like <laughs> something, but I mean, I don't really have much hobbies, you know. As in, I don't feel like I really do anything. Really, I just I do think, what I want at the time, I guess. Yeah, you enjoy cooking movies. Yeah, but you when I say cooking, I don't, I don't mean dinner. I mean like I should say baking. Yeah, or baking. Bacon, yeah, but cooking. even well, you could say cooking because I do. Yeah, enjoy cooking. Um, what's the favorite dish though? I don't know if I have a favorite <laughs> dish, you know. I, I enjoy like um recreating takeaway at home. Oh, yeah. That's what I like doing. So I wanna 
make food that tastes better than that I've eaten out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes sense because, I mean, I don't know. Because, like, my wife will do something like that. She'll we'll go out somewhere and be like, this tastes good. I wonder what the recipe is. Yeah, and then, yeah that's it. She's looking I it up or whatever. And trying to, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and then I, 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 that's why she's awesome as well. Because she, that's one that likes to cook. Because yeah, I'm, it. It, and I like to eat. So I mean, it's yeah. simpatico. <laughs> I mean, we good. That's how it works. Because I like feeding people. <laughs> so I would actually, I would, I remember even in the beginning days, like learning certain dishes i'm like no you're gonna eat this tell me what what do you think tell me what is it nice? <laughs> and see and, I, and i'm not picky either too but it's like sometimes i'm like are you setting me up are you trying to make me the <laughs> guinea pig and everything he's like i don't know how this is gonna turn out why don't you taste this i'm like mm, okay <laughs> oh. yeah I, it, it's, it's a mixed bag sometimes and, it, and it's weird for her because she loves to cook, yeah. but she a picky eater at the same time. So I don't, really? I don't. It blows my mind because, like me personally, I can eat the same thing every day for weeks I on end. And be, I say that a lot, you know. Yeah, <laughs> depends what it is. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, depending. Yeah, you're right. Depending on what it is, I can eat the same thing for like you know a while. Yeah. You know, with her, it's just like we cook something, then it has a 24 hour respite because you got to have leftovers. Then yeah. the, on that second day, that forty-eight hour span is like, I need something else. I can't eat yeah. this. Meat. I was like, wh- why? Yeah, I was like, why'd you make so much then? <laughs> you have to finish it all. In one I mean, it's, you know, I just start shoveling it to work and everything, putting it in Tupperware. Be like, hey man, y'all want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> Selling it at the work. <laughs> you know, then I should, you know, just start putting it in little baggies and everything. Hey man, got these leftovers, dog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think the, um one of the favorite dishes that I like to peddle on people that she make, she make this uh cornbread. Oh yeah. And she actually put corn in it. And the first time having it, I was like, cornbread with actual corn? It makes sense yeah. in wordplay, but in execution, how is this gonna work? I ain't never had no corn inside my cornbread. And then she made this thing and it was moist and it just like tastes like cake. And I was like, why have I not been eating cornbread like this? <laughs> you know, and so anytime she'll make some, I, I'll sh- cut me a corner off and, you know, stash it to the side and everything. I bring to work. I was like, hey, man, try this cornbread. I bet you ain't never had no cornbread like that. <laughs> and they'll be like, man, I had some cornbread, man. What you talking about? Like, not this cornbread. Yeah. And then be- I had a friend that came over here. You know, one of my childhood friends and whatnot. He, I, I always tell him tales of the cornbread, but he never partook. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, man, you got to try this cornbread. Man. He's like, man, this, I, I had cornbread. I make a mean cornbread myself. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't understand. You need to try this cornbread. So he came up here he, yeah. and um, she made the cornbread and he had a corner. He took a piece and he was like, what, what, what is this? This is this, this cornbread? <laughs> it's like here take some and take it home with you so he went to a friend house who was making traditional cornbread oh my God. and he was like hey man try this cornbread and they was like I don't even want this cornbread no more. So they, he, he, the, that's the story as it was told to me he brought the cornbread over there to the people who made food already they made the regular yeah. cornbread and they had some of that they ain't even want their cornbread no more they just oh put God. it out <laughs> so this is some powerful cornbread I'm trying to get her to sell it you know, yeah, you should go for it because every time they have a potluck or some crap at um her job or something, they're like, So, all right, I need you to bring this, you to bring this, Robin. You're gonna bring the cornbread. You <laughs> what do you want to bring? Yeah, it's just like to get a list of uh stuff that you can bring, and it's already got her penciled in with cornbread. It doesn't it don't even give her a choice Everyone to pick from the list. Yeah. yeah, so everybody just fall in. <laughs> But as far as um the time that you've been streaming and um creating content or whatever, I mean, what's been some of the more pleasurable things about it? You know, some of the things that you really enjoy about it. Um, the meeting people. I was gonna say, yeah, the community. Yeah, Yeah. because you are forever sus to me. (laughs) (laughs) The 
really yeah, good. Yeah, and um, just my interactions or whatever, because I mean, it can may be a lot, because y'all got like categories upon categories upon categories on um your Discord and everything, and it's, yeah. I'm just like sitting at work sometime, like. Huh? <laughs> Let me mute some of these, goddamn it! <laughs> and yeah, I mean, and that's good, especially especially for like content creating and everything. It's just great to have that support system and everything, to bounce mm-hmm. ideas off of, uh, recommendations and everything like that. And it's that's yeah. pretty cool. But I love the engagement at yourself when you pop in and jump in. Are you kidding me? Bounce back out. That's all fun, man. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's it's funny to me because I'm just that type of dude i just i make up shit and i don't know why i started saying titty meat but it's just because i, don't, I, don't know how to... I, I say it's I, meeting everyone yeah, as well like, yeah, being yourself. yeah so like I, I must admit i mean it's not exclusive to your discord i mean i, I pop up in other people place with the titty meat and they'd be like ah it's him <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know it's just it's, it's just fun to do i like yeah, i don't yeah. like the people i like the people to be on their toes you know, yeah, they, okay. they never know what they get. It's a mixed bag. It's random. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. It works. It does. It does. Yeah. But um, I don't know. What? I know you hadn't watched the horror movie uh, collection yet that I sent no. you. But what have you been um, partaking? We're doing, yeah. it. We're doing it for Valentine's. Oh, yeah. That's a good That's a good plug. <laughs> then it's on, on the weekend, too. So that's... Yeah, y'all can stay up extra late, had the lights down low, and you're like <laughs> holding each other arms under the blanket and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got roped into this. Yeah, horror, that is horror. Oh, man. Yeah, and then um, y'all over on the other side, y'all in the uh, UK, what, right? Yeah. yeah. And and I always find it funny when I talk to people from that side of the world, it's just like the, the, the inherent differences in for, uh, languages and slang and whatnot. Yeah, so I like to mess with y'all sometimes, especially like um, I just found out that uh, what is it? I, I don't know if it's so much around your area, but like in Australia, Australia, I believe, yeah, uh, tossing off. Oh my god! Yeah, that's yeah, that's a uh, you know one of those type of. <laughs> I just found that out, <laughs> so I thought that was weird. I was like, man, you can't toss that off of there, and it was like, whoa, player. I was like. Easy, buddy. I was like, wait a minute. And I was like, what? What do you mean? It's just like you you throw it. No, that means this. I was like, oh, yeah, you yeah. can't be saying. Oh, my, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I know the basics is just like um, I think it, what y'all call uh, what it is chips, uh, crisp or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then, then cookies or biscuits. Yeah, there's uh, yeah. cookies yeah. biscuits. Yeah, yeah, and um, what else? Uh, there's like I'm trying soccer and the football, football and soccer, yeah. different names for stuff, yeah. Yeah, because I, because cause I got I work with a a lady that's from Jamaica. Oh yeah. And um, she called cookies biscuits, and I'm just like, why? Because like, <laughs> is a biscuit is a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> so why why do you have a biscuit that's called a biscuit, and you have a cookie that's called a cookie, but is is I don't know it's some weird shit. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess it's the, the science. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. The science behind it, I guess. Mm. A, cookie, a, a cookie is a cookie. And a <laughs> biscuit is a biscuit. There's no science to it. I don't know. Because, like, I, I, I think she said, like, biscuits are, I guess, I, it just made the, it, it's the opposite of what I was raised on. Or what I, she's like, biscuits are soft or so cookies are soft so that's why your biscuit is a cookie or something some shit like that and then she I got an accent the way- the science behind it how as in the cookie we are just called cookies that like the chocolate chip the cookie, yeah, actual I don't call cookies them but then biscuits is like custard cream malted biscuits. milk they're like the ones, right? yeah mm-hmm. those are they're more like biscuits to me though. yeah but then there's the cookies are more flat and soft mm-hmm. like bakery mm-hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> So you had a little moment. It was like, hmm, I think I can make them. <laughs> no, you, you put them in my face for about 10 seconds. And then yeah. Works, works. I don't know. Cause, uh, I can kind of want some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> you see? God damn it. 
Oh, yeah. And I, I don't know. It's it's just fun to you know bring up the differences and some of the similarities and everything. Yeah. Um especially like what we was talking about not too long ago about the difference in TV shows or whatever, like a uh, utopia that, oh, yeah. that it was on. Um, Cause there's a American version here that I was just hip to on Amazon prime. And yeah, I was like, man, we've been had this over here. And I was like, Oh, I said, damn Americans stealing everything once again. <laughs> stealing. <laughs> but um, from what I understand is from, yeah, but from what I understand, like um, whenever they do TV shows over there, it's not as long form so much as it is for us. Because yeah, like yeah. usually we have, um, if the show is good enough, they'll do like a ten episode season or a little bit more, depending on you know the story being told. Yeah. But like I've heard, whenever they do a broadcast or something over there, it's usually a limited series premiere, and is um, or is already a long drawn out thing that's done pretty much and they just segment it off yeah and whatnot. yeah they're more like so mm-hmm. no it's in the they record and then i guess oh, give them out. out to us yeah mm-hmm. yeah 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 because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. the doc- we watch a lot of american stuff american as, well, as well yeah we have our Black power yeah, we watch that over here, but even- oh, uh, yeah, you can have that. I wish I'd just import that over there and keep it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like all of those yeah. stuff is like American. Yeah. yeah, we have our soaps, but mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, every culture has their soap operas or whatever, because I, I, I think it's kind of funny because since it, as far back as I can remember you know being alive <laughs> you know my mother has always watched soap operas always wow. and it's yeah. weird because i'm about to be what 39 mm-hmm. and some of the people that i used to see when i was a child are still acting in these same soap operas and i was just like you know what's oh, funny yeah, we so have that true. over here we have yeah, some yeah. soaps like um one's called eastenders and there's like coronation oh, street so these are like I guess based in the UK, and they just have all the stories and drama around it. Yeah. But I remember being young as well and watching it. And yeah. then some people are still invested. Like we always say, at Christmas time is when there's a big story. Big so yeah, yeah. Like, you watching these standards. You watching these standards. <laughs> catch up, catch up. So the build up, what we used to do years before is like catch the episodes before, so mm. we can be like, okay, what's going mm. on? But then we was just like, this is too. I can't be invested <laughs> in the soul. All my life is too much. Yeah. Like they've seen the characters. From they're young, yeah, they're we've old. seen them. They've passed on, passed on yeah. and they've been buried in that in the soap scenery yeah. or like it's, it's amazing. I don't know. It's amazing. Dedication. It is good. Yeah. Dedication. It's like we know them. We've grown yeah. up with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it is, <laughs> and it's weird, like how you're saying, like I, those same actors since I was like a little bitty child. Yeah. Are still in the same show, and then I yeah. go back when I go visit home or whatever because she still watched the shit. Yeah. And I'm sitting on the couch staring at this old ass man. I was like, yeah. You used to be so young, vibrant, yeah. and dark haired, and everything. Now you're gray and wrinkly, yeah. and everything. And then the story, how you saying they've done it all because it's, yeah, like I said, it's almost 40 years of content yeah. that I know of. And the before me, yeah, and before me, it was even more content. So it's just yeah. like, what do you do in that sense? It's just like you said, they die, then they reincarnate it. Some get amnesia. Somebody uh, soul was transferred into another person, and now, <laughs> now there's a whole different being in another body. And they had a lady that was a witch, and oh she was casting spells on people, and the somebody. Is, but, but even um, she's like a second life for the actors. It is. We, it's funny we were just life, talking about that because yeah. we're saying. We watch these things, but people are actually invested in their life. Yeah. yeah. Like, even we've watched and said, no, you cheated on this one. I hate you. So yeah, when they go in the road, people are actually attacking, them. attacking the characters. Yeah. She's like, no, it's not me. I'm acting. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but one when you my... watch them for that long. Yeah. Them. Exactly. Yeah. So... There's no disassociation between the character and the actual yeah. person. Yeah. Because yeah. one of the shows um, that me and my wife have been enjoying since we've been together is uh, Supernatural. And they just finished. And oh, okay. Sam and Sam and Dean Winchester, you know, and they've been those characters for 15 years. Yeah. yeah. And now one is going to be in um yeah, y'all heard of the show The Boys? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Dean, the character that plays the guy that plays Dean, he's going to be in season three of oh. The Boys. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. and then Sam, the one that plays Sam in Supernatural, he has a a whole nother TV show, Walker Walker Texas Ranger and shit. And I'm just like, but that's the thing. I bet you look at them and you think. I can't get out of my mind that you was these characters. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you get to know his acting style over fourteen years, yeah, or fifteen years, and I was just like, I know Sam every time because you go, yeah. you go watch a Walker Texas Ranger. He does this little thing with his mouth where he just kind of, and you're like, yeah. that's <laughs> that's, that's him, that's yeah. you, that's your thing, yeah. you know. Okay. And Dean is always yelling and mean and shit, and I'm just like, yeah. That's not <laughs> I think right, we no do way. that with a lot of actors. Yeah. Like, there's, um, is it Mike Epps when he's oh, yeah. Day Day? I always you say I feel like day he's out, Day Day in every movie, but now I'm thinking, is that just him? Him, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah but he's he acts like that in every movie, so now mm-hmm. it's just like, okay. Well, I mean, and then there's actors, I, I say, reach the, the zenith of their <laughs> daggone popularity and stardom and whatnot, because it doesn't matter what character he plays or what movie you yeah. play him. The Rock is always going to be The Rock. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, the only thing they, yes. they they shy away from doing with The Rock when they put him in movies that I I can't recall at the moment, but I can't recall seeing is putting a hat on him. <laughs> okay. Putting a hat on his head. You know, yeah. they, he never done that, and I seen it oh, once yeah. Yeah. in this uh this uh it was a preview for the Disney movie that he got coming out where he a steamboat conductor or some shit, and he got a hat on, and this is the most jarring shit ever because it's this big. Giant muscly dude, and he got this little <laughs> hat on his head. I'm just like, get that shit off of his head. <laughs> and then you got uh Kevin Hart is another one. You can yeah, put Kevin Hart yeah. in any situation, play any character, and he's always Kevin Hart, regardless. Yeah. You know, you I know, think they they just act. I think there's a script. Yeah, but I think when they're in certain movies, I think they do get leeway to maybe do their own thing as well. That's why their personality peeks through. Yeah, so we so. always get that bit because he's That's always doing that. that role, yeah. 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 You know, I break that ice. We broke that ice. Bro. Yeah. Will Smith. Oh, from how yeah, he was in the beginning. It, if you think about Fresh Prince, <coughs> he broke out that character, that comedic character. Yeah, yeah. And he gave us like I Am Legend. Yeah, yeah. It's like a different role. Isn't I it? feel like it took a not it a while, a, yeah, but what you're saying, so. when he started being serious, I was like, okay, okay, this is serious. Yeah, he can act this to is. It. Put the jokes aside. Yeah. yeah. But he still has these funny moments, though. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's just like, you know when to turn it on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. That's not out of character that will be like, oh, there's Will. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like with some of the other... It's ones, almost like his wink to the camera or whatever. He'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> that's for you. That's for you. <laughs> um, Another one that's kind of... It, it's off and on, depending on what it is. But it, I feel like even the newer movies that are getting put in, they typecast them somewhat. Ryan Reynolds. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get, yeah, I get that. You know, he was always like this little funny, sarcastic guy. But when they put him in a uh, Blade Three, I was like, "That's Deadpool." <laughs> That's Deadpool before he was actually cast yeah. as Deadpool. Yeah. But that character he played in um freaking Blade Three is just kind of what made me, you know. That's that's just him. That's just how he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And then from then on, he's like, it's kind of hard to shake that. But he's done yeah. movies like uh, Buried and um, Safe with uh, Denzel Washington yeah, to where he kind of... Yeah. Good, good way he put all that shit aside and I was like, yeah, that, <laughs> that dude can act. <laughs> yeah. I think that's when you think, okay, yeah, they can act. When you actually, I guess, invest, like, invest in the character yeah. and you're like, yeah, no, that, the character's acting that way mm-hmm. instead of there. And I know, like, um, the hitman's bodyguard or whatever. I was like, yeah, that's Deadpool again. Yeah. And then um, what else? He was in um, that Hobbs and Shaw. He had, like, a cameo in there. That's Deadpool again. <laughs> um, he got another movie that's coming out to where is, he's a character within the video game world or whatever, That realizing that he's a character in the video game world. That's Deadpool again. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah. But if you, but if you give him the proper opportunity and motivation, he can he can yeah. fucking pull it off. He can pull it off. Yeah. That's the thing. Acting is so it's not hard, but you have to you have to be that character. Yeah. I would say I I it is. But if you're an actor, you know how to do it. I guess like yeah. Denzel, 
I feel like every movie. He's in a different role. Yeah, I feel like he's just got. <laughs> not that he has different personalities, but I guess he's taking on the role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like he's different, and I believe him each time, and not around watching Denzel. I get you. I'm more like, hmm, okay. Yeah, he um. I think for him, because I, I know specifically in the, the films that he did, uh, Equalizer. Yeah. Um, he was saying that he gave that character the trait of having a, I guess what, like ADHD or something like, not ADHD. Um, uh, what's that shit? Uh, um, when they got to have everything in order and like aligned and everything. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he put that in. He put that on the character himself. He did. That wasn't nothing in the script. He like. He thought this character needs something he's like that. Thinking deeper, he's trying to think of something different than himself to make mm-hmm. him act different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can all go and act the same. <laughs> well, let's all be actors. Because what really like a Denzel performance for me that kind of like shook me up a little bit was a Training Day. I was like, Whoa, yeah, bro, that that's that's different. different. <laughs> yeah, American Gangster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm noticing is this trope now is like whenever you get shot in these movies, it's kind of almost the same reaction, though. <laughs> it's just like, like, I can't believe I got shot, you know, some shit like that. Because in Safe, it was like that. And um, a freaking um, Training Day was something like that. And in um, another movie, got uh, I think he got shot somewhere in Equalizer. It was the same thing. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I say, so some they got tropes I just be noticing sometimes. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but like, uh, what what's another good um, one that blew my mind, and it took me years to re- realize this when he uh, they came out with that show on uh, Netflix, Luther, freaking Idris Elba. I didn't know that dude was a uh, British or whatever, man. <laughs> oh my god, Idris! Yeah. yeah. You know what? You know what I find amazing when you take on that. I guess a different language, not language, accent, I should say. And you do that the whole way till no one even believes that you're um, you're British. Yeah. No one would even believe that. So for that, yeah. Yeah, it, it shocked the hell out of me. And it was like, even when I was younger, like watching Lethal Weapon and all that stuff with Danny Glover and uh, Mel Gibson, didn't know Mel Gibson was Australian. <laughs> and then I heard him talking like an uh, interview or something. I was like, yeah, you Australian. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it, it really shows now. But it's just like a lot of the best actors are not from the United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's almost like I'm sitting there. I was like, you want us? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me hear you in the interview. Let me look you up. Because <laughs> uh, what what's his name? Uh, it was the black guy in Doctor Strange. Um forget his name he also in um red belt he's also in uh brothers four brothers with uh mark walburn he's the main bad guy in that Uh, oh not tyrese you know tyrese his loud ass is he one of the brothers then no he's the bad guy he was the bad guy Let's see where you at. In other news, are you excited about uh Godzilla in uh versus um, Kong? King Kong? Yes. King Kong or Kong? Uh, it looks that meant to be coming up. No, it looks very action packed. It looks like man, a lot's going on. <laughs> I watched a trailer that at this point. I watch whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know it's just gonna. Um, Can't go cinema or nothing in it. <laughs> I mean, it's all it's it's kind of like a it's almost like a um what it what it what it is um autobiography or whatnot because there's a whole string of movies yeah that uh, preceded this with the same similar storyline mm-hmm. and whatnot. So it's like almost I already know what's gonna happen. So because when they did the the King Kong movie, it's like all right. King Kong Skull Island, I know that they're gonna bring him to the thing, gonna swat the thing down with the plane and mm-hmm. stuff. And then you had the Godzilla movie. I was like, wait a minute. So you got King Kong, a brand new movie, you got Godzilla, a brand new movie. And then I was like, then you had the King of Monsters. I was like, wait a minute, they're gonna fight each other. Yeah. And then 
they're gonna become friends somehow, yeah. some way, and then they're gonna have to fight another thing that fly and yeah. Repeating the story, but yeah. If, if they do fight, who's the money on? Mm, I don't know. They 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 see Kong is <laughs> Kong is strong, yeah. but he ain't got no powers like Godzilla. Then mm, you know somebody brought up. Somebody brought up a, um, a valid point. If they in the water, is is a wrap for Kong? Because I mean, guys, they look grab him and take him underwater. Yeah. <laughs> <Drown him. laughs> but if he's in the jungle, yeah. I think Kong might have a advantage. Mm. Yeah. Can they swim? That's I mean, true. They can swim. I mean, well, it doesn't matter if he can swim. Is it how long he can hold his breath? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Mm. But can God be the hold him down? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this this the guy right here. Him. Oh, oh um, twelve years a slave. Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't know. He, yeah, I, I didn't know he was foreign. <laughs> really? Where's he? Is, where is he from? Where's he from? Let's see. We got. I thought he's American. See, you didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> he's not from the UK. No, he's not from the, UK, he's from the UK. Uh, where are we at? We got. Okay, look at that. Yes. He is from uh, Forest Gate, London. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You learn something every day. I know. Yeah, it was just like I didn't know, and then I heard him. He was doing an accent <laughs> in a movie. Well, he was talking like himself. He was talking like himself in a movie, and I was just like, "Is that an accent you putting on? Because he's doing that pretty good." <laughs> I did know he was British. Yeah, I did. I did. I take it back. You didn't know. You didn't know till yeah. just now. <laughs> From twelve years of slave. Is it? Not that one. No. Sun. Sun. No. I know sunflower. The uh, rise of the sunflower. Type. No. Uh, I know what you're it, talking about. Movie, something sun. Something sun. That's a raisin under the sun. I know what you're talking about. Come on, bro. Check it out. There's what's no that, feels like check it out. Called? And this has been Phil's movie picks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, you got you got to save. It's you like what's his me. name as well from Snowfall. Um, yeah, I know he's. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Snowfall. His name is um something Damson. Was oh, Snowfall the TV series? Yeah, he's he's British. And then obviously you got the John Boyega as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that was a funny one too. John Which. Boyega. Which I forgot I, is like I knew, but I forgot because I seen oh. the first thing I seen him in was Attack the Block, and yeah, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I and you know for whatever reason I was like, all right, maybe he putting on an accent. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what I think. You know it's like it, it's opposite day every time I see somebody act. I was like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was good in Detroit. In Detroit. I didn't yeah. get I didn't get to see that one, but um, I, I liked him in Star Wars. That was pretty cool. I think they could have did a little bit better with his character, but I mean, it it was what it was. <laughs> well, what what shows that y'all got you looking forward to? Because I, I know y'all watch a, like a lot of anime and all kind of stuff like that, as indicative of your Discord with all the anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not well, but, I wouldn't um, say not really. But we do have non-anime. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, we're look. What are we looking forward to? Um, um, money oh, heist. Money heist. Yeah. Oh, are those um seasons as yeah, in the season two, not season two. Turn up to season three for Ozark. I watched a little bit of that and it it was hurting my head. I was like, okay, so well, how far are you? Because I don't want to spoil no, nothing. We, we finished money. Well, oh, you you caught up. All right, so the whole the whole thing with the the girl and her brothers and all them or whatever. So she was she was working with the guy. Then she was going to backstab him, and then they was going to kill him, and then she killed them. And I was just like, whoa. Oh. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, wait. I was like, whoa. And I, and I never seen an episode up until that point, so I was just like, I don't know shit. I was like, let me back away from it. It was good. <laughs> it was. It's good. It gets really good. But if, you know what I like about watching stuff as well when you can't read the story. Yeah. I remember watching it, and we're like, we might. I don't know. We guess because we're like, all right, this might happen or that might. Yeah. Happen. Oh my goodness! Yeah. What? Yeah, I, f I find myself doing that now with a lot of TV shows and movies that yes. we watch. And then it, you know, even last night was a good example of it. We was watching um, uh, what is that? Z Nation is a zombie show that was on a uh, Sci Fi or whatever. 
and um i'm sitting here watching and <laughs> this is kind of a peeve of mine it's just like i had to i can watch something and then you know depending on what's going on i can kind of figure out what's going to happen next mm-hmm. and then i would i would say that i'd be like all right this is about to happen but if i'm watching it with my with my wife and i haven't figured it out yet and she asked me uh what do you think is about to happen i was like i don't know <laughs> stop asking me questions i'm trying to watch the show <laughs> Okay. Hey, I know, but yeah. that's the best. That's what the boys done to me. I couldn't figure nothing. Oh, yeah. season episode one, season one of the boys. It set the tone. I didn't know what the tone of the show was gonna be. I mean, I yeah, knew. We watched the first episode, and I was I like, "What is going on? What is this show?" Yeah. I mean, I, from the pre the previews is like, "Oh, this is like knockoff Marvel characters." Or yeah, like that, whatever. <laughs> we're like, but, is that Superman? Yeah, is that Superman? Yeah, you know, I just like. Old girl got ran through on the street out of nowhere, and I was just like, Yeah, yeah. It's when gonna... that happened, I was like, This got me. I was like, It's gonna be this type of show, yes, that's it, man. Yeah, and so, and like, story got worse. I know, it got worse. and then okay. season two was bloodier than the first, yeah. Um, oh, it just kept on God. getting crazy. Yeah. Like, and I, and I think that's what they said that is as it goes it's going to get progressively yeah. bloodier or whatnot. In season three, they're going to have uh, a character which I already mentioned. Um, guy from Supernatural is going to be playing yeah. um, uh, freaking Soldier Boy. He was the guy that was there before Homelander, and they said he's oh. worse than Homelander. <laughs> oh, snap. oh my gosh! So it's just like I'm ready to see how just that character oh, yeah. dynamic is going to fit into what we already have and the actor playing that character because I only seen him 15 years of Supernatural so I want to yeah. see how he's so going to be now. You're looking at it differently like okay let's see what he's going to bring what to this. Going on, yeah. yeah so I'm just like ah it's like seeing John Cena doing all these different roles now. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I've only known him to wrestle so many years yeah. now he's doing movies and shit now. The Rock done it. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But I mean I, I had more time I had it's more time with The Rock. Like Dwayne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I had more time with The Rock, so I'm more used to it now. But like John Cena is kind of like fresh to me. It's just like he yeah, started yeah. he started with like little bitty baby roles and everything, and then he did some animated stuff to where yeah, he lent yeah. his voice to it. And then now hit this motherfucker popping up and got damn Fast and the Furious movie. Then he about to, then he was in uh Transformers, and then you know he did the the comedy the cock uh, cock blockers. That's funny. Um, I haven't seen that. There's a comedy called Blockers or whatever. He's a dad, and he has a child. Uh, he, they, um, it's him, his uh, friends, and all that. They all got kids together, mm-hmm. and um, they're going to prom. They're about to graduate high school, get ready to go to college. And all the kids get together. They said they ma- they made a pact. Said they was all going to lose their virginity on prom night. So they found out about it, and as parents, they're trying to block it. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a funny movie there. And then Denny's gonna be in the Suicide Squad. And then there's what a, what yeah, he's, new one? yeah, the new one. He's gonna be in the new one. And there's already talks about his character having his own spinoff. Hey. So John Cena's doing big things, you know? Yeah. What's the other wrestler in, um, I can't remember the name of the movie, with the group. The oh, group. Dave Batista. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah, Batista. That's it. He's in, uh, what's that movie called? He's in a uh, Blade Runner. He's in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I mean, yeah, all the, the Galaxy. That's yeah, it. all the Marvel <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he, he had a lot of bit roles in some other films or whatever. But he's making his way. He just did um, I Spy, and then yeah. um, he, My Spy with, it was a comedy with a little girl in it, and uh, Stuber is like a, another comedy. I mean, he's doing a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. Do they stop wrestling or they, are they? Oh yeah, he done. He retired. Um, he retired two years ago. Had his last match. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was there. I was in attendance. Oh, oh you were there. there. Yeah, MetLife Stadium, New York or New oh, Jersey. Right. Yeah, so it was it was great. Got to see him trip when you went in the ring. <laughs> 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 he tried to play it off, but it was too late. Everybody done seen it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but it's great. I I I. 
enjoyed him as a professional wrestler, but I mean, he's doing good acting. So, I mean, I had no problem with that, especially playing Drax or whatever, man. It's just, yeah, that's the move. He's just sitting there. Yeah. Um, my movements are so slow. It's like I'm not even moving at all. We can see you, man. And he's just like, missed. Uh, freaking all the uh freaking uh metaphors and stuff like even the first guardians of the galaxy he's like yeah man that went over your head he's like nothing would go over my head my my <laughs> reflexes were too fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah but, what shit um what was um i can't think of any other wrestlers i mean there's been kurt angle who's been a character in a lot of movies oh, but yeah. nothing like real like big time caliber or whatnot. Oh. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but shit. So we got Kong. Yeah. And whatever. I don't think I'm gonna watch that until they finish with it. That's how that's how I feel about it. I just bought um Bill and Ted the Bill and Ted three disc set. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah ever watched Bill and Ted before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen Vinatier. That's, that's, that's funny. We spoke about that yesterday. We actually yeah. spoke about Vinatier. Which yeah. one? Um, we, we were talking about Wayne's World. Okay, I, that's how I was thinking. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen that in a long time either. Sure, stuff like that. That's one I've seen. Yeah. So, so I bought that, and I bought the whole Underworld box set too. Oh. I was thinking, is Vinatier the part, the ones that go partying? Yeah, Bill and Ted is the one with, with the time machine. It looked yeah, like a phone booth. Phone box, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you later. My memory's bad, bro. Yeah. So, I, what what else y'all got on your radar as far as? Uh, I'm looking forward to is it Songbird? Songbird, um, Michael Bay. It's based oh, on yeah, the yeah, Corona. Yeah. Based on Corona. I mean, I'm living it every day. Well, I want to watch something. Oh, <laughs> I think it's how bad it could get, really. Oh, okay. Stuff like that, because yeah, I think when this one. all started, we end up watching a few stuff as well, isn't it? Oh, the most anticipated one. Come on. What? I can't remember. Which one? What one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um. <laughs> oh, what is it called now? Ghostbusters. 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 Afterlife. Yeah. That one- that one kind of died off for a second. It was just like, oh, they had all this hype and they seen the big trailer yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And then it just like, poof, disappeared. I was like, yeah. where'd it go? Oh, no. <laughs> I think we watched the um, trailer again. They got a new, a newish like, trailer. Yeah. When's yeah. it coming out? Yeah. It's coming soon, doesn't it? I know, but the thing is, everything's going to get pushed back because of what's happening I know, now. I, I think it's going to be the perfect one, though. I've been... one, the story behind yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. They're just like, well, Screw, he was like, screw that other one. And no, screw- uh, I showed that one. I'm just saying that. <laughs> oh, that one was good. I, I mean, like, uh, this story actually, I don't I know. I think it the worked story with the just, girls. It yeah. Worked, but I feel this story, the story for this one yeah. seems like it's more yeah. serious. Yeah. It's more of a it's more comedy, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah. The, That's what yeah, it was. yeah. 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 This one is uh, continuity. Yeah. It, just, <laughs> it picks up after the, um, the other ones yeah. left off. Yeah, when I, yeah. With the grandchildren and everything. Yeah. yeah. I was sad when old boy died though. The one that played Egon. He, yeah, oh, he yeah, yeah. he died in real life. Real life. So yeah. this is this is my theory because uh, you know I think they're gonna have the older the other guys. You know, Bill Murray, uh, Dan Aykroyd, yeah. and um. They probably well, as in if they're gonna come in. I love to see yeah. it. If they're I gonna. Think they, I think they uh, cannot. They, 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 yeah. Have this movie without them. They came in the other one, dude. Yeah. They were in the other one. Yeah, they were in the other one. They made cameos. Yeah. They have to be in this. They have one. To. But I mean, this is my theory though. Since old boy died or whatever, and this is Ghostbusters, they that they might have him as a ghost or somewhere in the movie. They'll do that. That but would make. Who is? Which one is her granddad? You don't know. They're assuming it's. Oh, is is uh, Egon? That's what I was, I was yeah. thinking. It is that. Egon. Yeah. So um. Is, yeah, because yeah, um, when they, when they, when they, when they, they might be the ghost coming to his granddaughter, like. Yeah. They might have. Baby girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what that's what made me think that because in the, um the trailer that I did see when they found the room and everything, they found the suit and it had Spangler on it. And I was like, Oh, yeah. he gone. And I was like, he's the grandkids. And I was like, Oh, he's gonna be a ghost. And they're gonna have to bust him. And I'm like, Bzz. And like, oh <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember number one? Oh yes, yes, yes. Do you remember the dog? 
Yeah, they, yeah, they had the um the hoof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at the trailer again, yeah, if you look closely, you see it. Yeah, it's there. I seen it. Yeah, it uh, popped down on on the hood of the car, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, ah. Oh. But yeah, if they, if they have any ghost Egon shit in there, I'm gonna cry. I'm like, oh, Ooh. <laughs> this too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. You know, I'll be sitting there like one of your saying, I'm a super number of fun. Holy shit. But yeah, I was like, oh man, it's just it's gonna be a great movie. Mm-hmm. I'm already looking forward to it. I'm hyped up, hyped up, hyped up. Yeah, definitely. So I mean, what's next for y'all? I mean, y'all, y'all got engagements going on, y'all got video games going on and whatnot. I mean, is there any any wee ones in the future? Maybe. Possibly. We've got, we've got no. kids. Yeah. You do? Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Not really. We've got kids. <laughs> we've we've got three kids. We got three. Yeah. Wow, I did not know. I know. No, look at you. That's that's amazing. How old? But twins are five. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> twins? <laughs> Twin boys or girls? Or? Boy and a girl. Oh, man, shit. Y'all could have stopped right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got older ones. That's, but... what, that's what I was saying earlier. How deep would it be? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> got an 11-year-old as well. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. 11-year-old and then the twins are five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I got the... Um, shit, my oldest just turned 20. <laughs> oh. And um, I got the boy. He just turned 18 in December. Okay. And then I'm stuck... Till 2028 with the 10 year old till she graduates. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all ever come stateside, the, the wee ones can play together. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I was, wow, that, that, that didn't even know. How old are y'all? Hmm? How old are y'all? <laughs> well, how old do you feel? I can't ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Have a guess. Have a guess. I don't know. Hmm. 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 Find out next on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still powering up. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I would say 32. Close, close. Three. Ah, see, that's yeah. close. I didn't want to go too high. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you. I ain't gonna ask you your age, but y'all in the ballpark? Y'all in the same range? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have to mind how you said it because I'm some, some, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, we are, we are, yeah. we are. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, look at that. Got babies and everything. And this is so nice. <laughs> a lot of people don't read, I guess, yeah. maybe because we don't put our kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. No, but yeah. We've we've mentioned our kids because, like, on, the, on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, we don't shy away from it. Yeah. Or yeah. even on our social yeah, yeah. media, we've done it, but we just don't, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I understand. As much. Yeah. yeah. Cause I mean, shit, I, I can't really hide mine. Cause damn, I'll be sitting here. Yeah, man, we just hanging out and just, just walking the room. I'm like, hey, good night. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised you ain't popping here already. I don't think I have my recording light on. Cause that that's the only time she'll come in here, and that's when I know I messed up. Cause I got yeah. like, I forget to hit my button, and the little light come on outside, and let them know I'm recording. But uh, sometimes I just get in here, we start to talking and everything, and I forget to turn the light on, and it's like, me. <laughs> oh, hey, hello, child. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people seem to enjoy that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then she come over here and talk to my banana and the cat, <laughs> and then, then she leave. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the stars. This is a uh, nanner. <laughs> Niner. <laughs> yeah, that's um a guy I used to work with in the military. Mm-hmm. He uh he started drawing uh comic books and little comic characters and everything, and that's one of his characters that he had oh, made okay. cool. into a plush. So when I seen this shit, I was like, oh, I need to buy this. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yep. And then the cat. I, I am a fan of professional wrestling, and um one of the um, wrestlers in Japan, he would bring the cat to the ring, and I thought that oh, was yeah. some cool shit. So I bought a cat too. <laughs> But this is the second one I have like this though, because I bought a small one, and then the the, the young one seen it and is like, oh, 
this one. Yeah. And I was like, here, just take this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I got me a big one. And then she seen the big one. It's like, uh, I was like, no, 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 you can't yeah, have the big one. <laughs> You're small, so you have the small one. I'm big, so I have the big one. <laughs> yeah. um, that was a question. <laughs> From wow. the, huh? <laughs> my show. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> question away. Huh? How when I saw the Instagram picture of all the um oh the, um yeah the uniform and shit, yeah. Yeah, and you got back to me, but I thought how did, how was the experience? Oh uh, made me what I am today. <laughs> <laughs> like visiting all them countries and well, I mean I have been to other countries, but I haven't been to many as most because most of the majority of my uh, military career was in service after 9-11. So okay. Okay. that's all I knew, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So I've been to Iraq four times and I've been to Afghanistan once. Anywhere else, like um, I had the opportunity to go to Japan to be stationed there or whatever. But at the time yeah. I was going through like legal and divorce shit with my first wife. And um, so we was doing custody for the kids and all kind of other crazy crap. So, I mean, me going to Japan would not, you know, benefit yeah, me to yeah. the stuff like that. And I missed out on going to Spain and a couple of other places. Okay. But I've been to places like en route <laughs> to <Okay>. Iraq and <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> well, we stopped in Germany. We stopped in Ireland um, and uh, somewhere else. We stayed in um, Kuwait for a little while. Um, we stayed, we went to what, what part of Germany or Ramstein. We stayed there for a little while. So I've, I've been to places like that, just on a pit stop before yeah. I went to deployments and things like that. But as far as the whole thing, I mean, I enjoy it. And like earlier on, I missed it. Yeah. Cause, um, it was, I can only equate it to like school in a sense, more like college. Yeah, you know, because um, I never really experienced that life, but that's the only thing that I can equate it to. It's just like we, you go there, you fresh out of high school, young, and everything, never experienced the world outside of your parents' house. You got your own money and shit, and yeah. you meet all these knuckleheads. Then you form friendships. You get into trouble. You yeah. meet girls, and and you get in more trouble. And <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fun, but um. Do you get to like what, like fly helicopters and all that stuff? No, I've been in it, but not fly it. No, that's oh, like no, fly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been in the back of some, and it's just like unnerving because, let's say, uh, it's a, a, a aircraft called the Osprey. It's the one where um the propellers are in the front, and then they rotate up. Oh yeah. yeah. So we adapted those in the Marine Corps. And then we had a lot of problems with them. Shit was crashing all the time and shit, oh, you know. So they, <laughs> so they took them off the board. They got rid of them for a while, and yeah. then they came back. And I was like, I had to fly on one to go home. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I'm sitting in the back of this thing, like, I see. I, I don't. I don't show it on the outside because I'm hard. Yeah. But on the inside, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, <laughs> you know. And then my whole thing with flying in general is just like, I always go to sleep because I don't want to see it coming if it's going to happen. <laughs> mm, okay. yeah. you know? So I... <laughs> <We good? laughs> but um, flew in um, Osprey, uh, a Osprey, a C-130. That's the big freaking giant ones like on um, uh, equivalent would be like on um, if you play Call of Duty when you're in the plane, you do Warzone, flew in one of those. Um, I think that was about it as far as aircraft go. I mean, m m other times it's kind of commercial. You just yeah. get in a regular airplane and just pew. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, experience. Yeah, experience. yeah, but it, it was it was two times in my career I, I I did 16 years that I enjoyed the most and I didn't think I would, and that was um going to Paris Island, South Carolina, and that's like I, the boot camp. I didn't go to that boot camp because there's two of them. There's one in San Diego. And there's one in South Carolina, but I went to the one in South Carolina where they train males and females. Yeah, and, I, yeah. and I got to go there to be an instructor, not a drill instructor, but okay. a instructor, <laughs> not the one with the, the Kung Lao hat. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. but um, to be a yeah, to be an instructor, I um, 
I ran the repel tower. I taught people how to repel and shit with rope and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. And then the place where I retired out of was the same place when I joined uh, for my job. I, I'm transportation, so I drive trucks and shit. So I went back to Fort Lindenwood, Missouri, and I became an instructor. I went back to teach at the place where I was taught. So those two were like the best experiences that I ever had because with the rappel tower, these were like brand new. They were in boot camp. Like they didn't yeah, know yeah. shit about the military then. I got to right. teach them things. Mm -hmm. So that was cool to get them on the ground floor. And then yeah. to go later on to the schoolhouse to where it's the last stop in training before they actually go join yeah, yeah. The military and shit, you know, mm -hmm. do that job that they were taught to do. So I was just like, I get to catch them young on both ends and tell them shit yeah. that I wasn't told when I went through, yeah. you know? So I was like, Hey, don't do this. And then I catch them on the other end when I was getting ready to get, I was like, Hey, don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> you know? And I, I, I just enjoy that. I was going to say those, those people are needed. Yeah. When I bump into someone like that, I'm always like, yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't know, man. Cause looking back at it is just, I could, I think I could have advanced a lot further in my career had I had people in place, but ultimately yeah. it is on you to, you know, put your best effort in and put your best foot forward or whatnot. Yeah. But sometimes, I mean, when you're young and shit, you need that guidance, you know, you know, yeah, like people so you gotta ask somebody to, to steer you and yeah, shit. Cause yeah, man, that, people come there and I've seen it. You know, I was one of the lucky ones, are, you know, just a small instance. I was already, had, I had a car when I, before I joined. So when I got to, you know, my final destination as far as where I would be working permanently as, you know, a fully trained Marine, mm -hmm. I just went home and drove my car back. But they had people that, you know, would prey on those young guys that didn't have nothing, didn't know shit, and they would charge them like highest interest rates on these cars and shit and mm -hmm. just be paying up their whole paycheck pretty much every month trying to oh, make these God. car note payments and shit like that. So it was just like little shit like that, that I would try to tell them about before they get out there and everything and another thing that i feel like was way important i was like how many of y'all are married or mm -hmm. plan on getting married once you complete training <laughs> you see some hands go up i was like come over here let me talk to y'all <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then that you know i tell them what you know i experienced yeah, you yeah. know, on, on a personal level, what happened to me? And, and, and I always tell them, like, hey, man, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to happen yeah. to you, but you should be aware of it because I'm not the only one that this happens to. It's just mm -hmm. comes with the job because you got to realize that, you know, for you alone, it's fine. I mean, this is what you chose to do. This is your job. Mm -hmm. And you have responsibility for you. But when you bring somebody else into it, it's going to be kind of hard because there's going to be a lot of times to where, you can't be there to help that other person out. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and <laughs> sad to say is when you ain't there for, to be that shoulder to lean on, somebody else <laughs> is bring gonna, that shoulder. gonna slide on in. <laughs> oh, you look sad. <laughs> is, is your husband deployed right now? What's what's going on? Well, here, let me buy you a drink. And <laughs> oh yeah, that. <laughs> that's how I go. I didn't heard. I I've lived, and I've heard the horror stories. Yeah. It's like they used to have. A, they got base housing to where it's government housing given to military members that are married. Yeah. And they used to have old tales and stories about if you see a broom on the doorstep or whatever, that's somebody signaling like, "Hey, my husband or whoever gone, you can come over." Or if they got oh. little red light bulbs on the on the porch and shit, you know, it's like, "Hey, somebody ain't here, you can come on over." You know, that's shit that we used to. They used to tell it, you know, and I was like, oh, shit. And then another thing about it is every town that you are stationed in is going to be more likely a predominant military town. Somebody is either in the military or they're married to somebody in the military or they're the child of somebody in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some affiliation with the military because that's how it usually works. So you go out, you find this nice young lady, nice young man, you hang out. Y'all yeah, yeah. hang out, y'all have drinks or whatever, you get a little involved and you find out she married and got kids and like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so 
that's the things I like to warn them about. Because <laughs> yeah. it's good, it It's like a whole you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I, I have historically told it on this podcast. I might have a, a child I don't even know about floating around somewhere. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, no. My wife knows, so it ain't going to be a surprise to her. I told her, I was like, hey, I just want you to know that around, so around 2003, something like that, that, you know, that child might be coming up on 18 now. So I mean, if we can get past 2022 without a notification, I ain't got to pay no child support. <laughs> Just letting you know what you're getting yourself <laughs> into. <laughs> he won't walk down the road. He looks familiar. <laughs> he looks just like me. He looks just like me. Yeah, right. just, just, he bald head and everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, but man, oh, it, military is wild, man. But what, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't discourage, discourage it from anybody. I, I recommend it. Like if, say, you don't have a plan at the high school or whatever, I, I recommend you go do the minimum. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, oh, it's a good experience. Place. Trait, yeah, because I mean, it's a trait. I mean, it's a school that learn you, that teach you how to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can make some money while you're trying to figure out what you want to do after. I mean, yeah. they can they'll even pay for your school and all that other stuff. You want to continue beyond that. So, I mean, it's a good stepping stone if you don't have a plan. You know. Okay, mm-hmm. Yeah. So five star recommend. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I mean, you got any other questions, man? I mean, I'm here. I'm. I'm it's it's um, it's your show as much as it's my show. <laughs> You but, said you um. You said what? What made you start Twitch? You said that you didn't really like the whole playing games. Well, I mean, since I do the podcast, I just yeah. figure it would be more of an extension of the podcast. It would just be more, you know, I can reach out to more of a different oh, audience, yeah. you know, to bring people to the podcast and everything. Mm-hmm. But what I'm finding out for me is just um trying to nail down a proper time and whatnot because. I play video games a lot, but yeah. I don't want to be streaming all the time. Sometimes I want to keep that shit to myself, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Especially when I was doing the, um, some games for streaming, then I guess some games for yourself. Yeah, because I know Ghost of Tsushima, boy, I was getting my ass spanked, and I didn't want to broadcast that. <laughs> I remember I was mid, I was playing mid game. I was like, Nah, man, let me put Call of Duty on. Because <laughs> what happened is I started it. And I, you know, I was getting used to the controls and everything. And then another game caught my ire. And then I started going over there and I forgot about this. I was like, go on, go on, sit in the back for a little while. And then when I came back to play it, I was like, oh no, I done forgot all this. (laughs) Yeah, I just, I kept dying. I kept dying. I got to my first, my first boss of that game and he spanked my ass. The game was having. The game was having pity on me. Just like you want to put it on easy, dog. I was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I hate no, when I the game. I, the I hate when the game. Does. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the worst. I remember thing. when me and you we played together, and it says at the bottom, like, yeah. do you want to switch to like relax, yeah, like relax. <laughs> like, don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, player, you, you ain't doing so hot, man. You want to? <laughs> yeah. Just one, one little click, just boop. Yeah, man. easy. Nope. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just um I just tried it. Cause one yeah. one thing that I do enjoy besides actually doing Twitch or whatever is figuring out the inner workings of it. Like how people do the different alerts and everything, yeah. how they got the uh the layovers and everything, all that stuff really interests me and I like doing that shit, you know. Yeah. And then you know, I do it and I figure it out, and it's like, all right, um, I guess I'll stream. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's all but, fun though. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is uh, uh, but me for me specifically. Yeah, I just I just need to um, nail it down more consistently because mm-hmm. I was doing um, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Then I find myself overloading myself because like I would stream from Monday to Sunday and not say shit about it and just turn it on and expect people to be there and you know I was like there's so many different ways but I feel like for different people it works differently like some people can come on there stream randomly Mm. but people are still in there but there's some people that will even have a schedule Mm. but people might not come so I think it works differently but you Mm. have to do what's better for you yeah Mm. 
Yeah. And then find a way you can stream. That's like with YouTube as well. How often do you want to put a video out? How often do you want to stream? Mm. Slowly and then build it up because you don't want to overdo it then. Yeah, because that... it hard. Like, I stream it today yeah. and tomorrow and the next day. It overwhelmed. It would. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to carve like a little niche for this or whatever. Because yeah. this whole month of February that's coming up, I think I got two to three interviews every week in the month of February. Oh, that's so cool. trying to yeah. do all those and squeeze in yeah. some gaming. So uh, you know that's kind of why I've been off and on of it or whatever. Because yeah. I got I got an interview, and then I got twelve hours of work the next day. Then I got to come home, eat some food with the family, you yeah, know. Family time, yeah. yeah family. It's, it's, just, all, it's all balancing as well. It's a lot. Don't put too much on your plate, though. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I guess yeah. if you can just do one day a week, that's where yeah. it starts. <laughs> yeah, because um, what I've enjoyed about it is um, when we do the wrestling talk. It's not really game related, but we stream on, on Twitch and um, Facebook. And we get a little bit of crowd for that. And I, I enjoy that a little bit because we all talking about wrestling and they shoot the questions on there and I can put the thing on the screen. But, oh, he got a question. Look at it. It's right there. You know? <laughs> so I've been enjoying that or whatever. And I might do a little more of that in the future. But yeah, it remains to be seen. <laughs> yes. How long have you been growing your hair, dude? Uh, this is uh, January. going to be eight, eight, eight years. Eight years. God damn, you have hair. You, it you was grow. longer than this. Yeah, I've cut it. I've cut it. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. enjoy it while you got it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I lost mine a long time ago. <laughs> I think I've been bald as long as you had long hair. <laughs> But shit, I mean, hey, if you ain't got nothing for me, I think this is where we put the pin in it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So um, where can everybody find you on social media? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You, he been passing it off to you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's be like, oh, you know, uh, first. Oh, he's just being gentlemanly. That's all. That's all it is. <laughs> um, on Twitch, I'm just Chrissy with a double E. Um, Instagram is Tina underscore Chrissy and what is it? Twitter is yeah. Tina underscore Chrissy and then YouTube is just Chrissy but with one E. Word. I'm trying to get it all. I'm trying yeah. to get it all to be one name, but I started yeah. off with different names. So, oh yeah. man, don't get me started on that shit. <laughs> yeah, the numbers, of, the names are taken. No, eh? um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Cause that whole three R show thing is is pissing me off on Instagram. Cause I got to put the three R show oh, instead of. Find, you can probably that. find them yeah. and ask them if they want to. I them. did, and they have not posted since February fifteenth of two thousand seventeen. Oh. I've sent DMs. I tried to get them oh, banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did everything. On Instagram, if the Message page is inactive, it. maybe yeah. you can just get them gone. <laughs> I, I tried. They don't listen to me. Sorry, <laughs> bastards. They don't. They don't take my input. I hate them. <laughs> But I love them at the same time. <laughs> Where can they find you, sir, on all the platforms? It's your um, turn. Share. <laughs> uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. Yeah, Twitter. I'm still with See? See, you, you were the lucky one. He, he got it easy. No, easy. I had to no, ask. I had when to you ask started, when you started on... When you got when you started your YouTube and you had your name, mm -hmm. you kind of done it early on. But yeah. I done. But YouTube where it started, that was, that's where the name came from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had to ask someone to swap it with me, and I got it that way. On Instagram. Is it Instagram or Twitter? One of them. One of them had to swap the <laughs> name. <for> yeah. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Know, right? <laughs> yeah. But. As it has been for every guest of the Random Rounds with Rob podcast, the door is always open for you to come back to promote the next big thing or just to come shoot the shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me. Thank Word. You. Thank you for your time. I mean, this shit is like, what, 10, 11 o'clock there? Uh, it's 10 30. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I need to go do other things. You probably jump on another stream before you get off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hello. 
everybody, this is Hoppy. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm over here cooking dinner with hooks, rubs, and spices. Uh, B-Rob turned me on to this stuff, and i tell you what, it's great. It's a homemade blend of the finest ingredients sourced from Texas Garden, farmers, and markets. And it's some good shit. i tell you what, try the smoke and sweetness, or you can try Hoppy's favorite, the Mad Cow, which is a nice peppery slap in the face. <laughs> One taste, and you'll be hooked. Hooks, rubs, and spices.